Chalky finish paint creates this dreamy matte finish in beautiful colors that can be used on just about any kind of wood. It's so easy, it's kind of like magic. The Spruce Best Home Chalky Finish Paint is specially formulated to give you really good coverage and deep saturation. Now, I'm just gonna show you how to do something like this chair. Before you start painting, you always wanna make sure your surface is clean and there's no debris or chips on it. In most cases, you'll just need to clean the wood with a damp rag to remove the dust. But if the piece is really glossy, you can just do a quick scuff sand. You can use different brushes, rollers, or even rags to achieve different looks on the wood, but I'm just gonna keep it simple and use a nice nylon polyester brush with fine bristles. The paint is nice and thick, so you're probably only gonna need one to two coats. And you can even add a little water if you wanna thin it out for a little lighter look. See how easy this is? There are really no rules here. You just wanna make sure the paint goes on nice and thick so you get even coverage. I put nails at the bottom of the chair so that it gave me a little height so I could make sure I have even distribution of the paint all over the feet of the legs. As you can see, it looks like I'm just gonna need one coat on this. The paint is really thick and it's going on really nicely with this brush. Okay, it's been two hours and now I can start sanding. I'm gonna use a 180 grit, you just wanna fine sandpaper for this. It's pretty simple. I just wanna highlight the edges here. As you can see, I'm bringing out the dimensions of the wood. It really just gives it some character, which I always like some character. If I wanted a more distressed or rustic look, I would pick a coarser sandpaper, but I just really want to highlight a few of the edges here, so I'm gonna stay with the fine. And when you're done sanding, just get a lint-free cloth just to wipe off all the dust. You just want a really nice, clean surface. Okay, and now it's time for the sealing wax. You can use a dark wax for a more distressed or antique look, or the clear wax for a more polished look. You're just gonna use your lint-free cloth, kind of apply it on here, and you can start rubbing it just all over, kind of rubbing it in. The clear wax is just gonna really seal and protect your chair and the paint that you just added. This is the fun part because you get to see the chair and the color really pop. See how it's just creating this subtle satin finish? And I love how you can see the details that I just sanded off here. Once you're finished with the wax, that's it. You could probably finish something like this in just a few hours. My prediction is, once you redo something with chalky finish paint, you'll be looking around the house for other things to paint. <laughs>